Hello, this is Chris Menard. This is a request from one of my subscribers on YouTube. Someone wanted me to explain what is Goal Seek in Excel. And it's part of what if analysis. It's really simple actually once you get down into it. It basically tells you, I know I want the result of a formula to be a certain answer, but I don't know what to change to get to that answer, what input cell. So here is a really simple example to explain Goal Seek. I have in column D and column E, units sold. I sold 100 units of a product. So I actually typed in the number 100. I, that unit goes for 10 bucks each. That's what people pay for it. But it cost me $4 to make the unit. The 100, the 10, and the 4 are all input cells. Down below, I'm going to do some formulas. So I did the revenue is going to be the 100 units times the 10 bucks. That should be 1,000. My expenses are the 100 units times the $4 a unit, 400 bucks. So therefore, I'm making $600, E5 minus E6, for the 100 units at 10 bucks at four dollars e1 e2 and e3 are input cells if i change the input cells the dependent cells change the dependent cells are e5 e6 and e7 notice that they're all formulas in the formula bar so goal seek says i know what i want my formula answer to be but I don't know what input cell the input cell needs to be. So in this example for Goal Seek, I know I want net income instead of 600, I want $1,000 in net income. The price, that's the highest price I can pay. That's what the market says. I can't get my cost any lower. So to get to that $1,000 in net income, I can sell more units. But how many more units do I need to sell to get to a thousand bucks? What I don't want you doing is coming in here and doing this. 110 units takes me to 660. 125 is 750. So you can see I'm getting there, but I keep changing an input cell to see if I can get to my result. That is where you go to data on the data forecast group what if analysis goal seek so the set cell will always be a dependent cell and I've only got three in this example but it's going to be the net income what am I looking for I'm trying to get to a thousand from that formula in that formula by changing will always be an input cell so it's either going to be E1, E2, or E3. And I've already said it's E1. So set cell is dependent. You type in the value in the middle box. And the by changing will always be an input cell. When I click on OK, I should end up with 1,000 for my net income. And my unit sold will change. Perfect. So 167 units, $1,000 in net income. That was a real simple example of Goal Seek. Now, one more example. The other day I told you how much you needed to invest at 8% interest. I'm over in column B right now. For 20 years to be a millionaire, what do you have to invest? So I've got the 8% in, input cell, 20 years, input cell. Right now I've got $1,000 in there. Below here I have all my dependent cells, which are all formulas. There's the future value function saying that right now at $1,000 I'll end up with $592,000. I invested $240, bucks. 1000 a month for 20 years is $240,000. Interest income is 352. There's that formula. There's my monthly salary that I would need if it's 20%, and there's my annual salary. 
So if you ever need to see the dependent cells, simply highlight all your numbers. You can either do Control G, you can do the F5 function key. Control G or F5 will pull up Go To. Then go to Special and tell Excel to only highlight the formulas and those are going to be your dependent cells when I hit OK. So those are dependent. If you wanted to know your input cells, you highlight them. Again, F5 or Control G. If you like the mouse, it's the Home tab. Find and select over in the editing group. And instead of going to Go To, which is Control G, you can actually hit just Go to Special. Save you one step. If you want to know your input cells, you select constants. Watch this. Cool. So those are my input cells, B1 to B3, dependent, B5 to B9. Click anywhere you want. I need to know how much do I, how much do I need to invest every month. 8% is not changing. 20 years isn't changing to get to a million bucks right here. Data tab. What if analysis, goal seek. Set cell, you know that that's going to be something that's dependent. Two value, and we'll put in a million. By changing, this will always be an input cell. Click OK, I should end up with exactly a million dollars in cell B5, and cell B3 should also change. There it is. $1,686. I'm going to do it one more time. Watch this. A thousand bucks is the most I can invest every month. I still want a million dollars. How many years do I need to go for? Data. Goal seek. I still want a million bucks. By changing, it's going to be an input cell, the number of years. Obviously, it's going to be more than 20 years because I'm at 592. Let's see what happens. 25 years, if I put $1,000 away at 8%, I'll be a millionaire in 25 years. Last one. I'm going to go back to 20 years, $1,000. What interest rate do I need to earn to get to a million dollars 20 years at a thousand? Goal seek. We're going to change the interest rate. So it's always the same, it never changes. Set cells dependent to value, you type it in. By changing is always going to be an input. I need to get 12% interest and I'll be a millionaire. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a wonderful day. Thank you.